Hi, my name is Nicole Stout, and I'm a physical therapist and certified lymphedema specialist. And I know you're getting a lot of information right now about your diagnosis and treatment. You may even be on some information overload, and that's why we put this video together. We want to empower you with the knowledge about how your treatment is going to impact the way you function and the way you move. The more knowledgeable you are about the changes that may occur and negatively impact your function, the better you can facilitate early identification. We've created this video to help provide that information so that you can come back to it again and again and review the information throughout the continuum of your treatment. Ideally, you should have a visit with a physical or occupational therapist who's an expert in cancer rehabilitation or lymphedema before you start any treatment. I know it's a little strange to think of seeing a therapist when you don't seem to have any problems. The reason for this important visit is so that the therapist can take a set of baseline tests and measures. Your therapist will look at your strength, the movement in your limbs, your limb volume or girth, and they'll identify the activities that you do every day, including your exercise habits and your work habits. The goal is we want to know what's normal for you so we can get you back to the baseline you're at today. Ideally, you'll continue to see the therapist throughout the course of your cancer treatment, about every three months during the year. This way, the therapist can reassess all of those tests and measures and determine if there are any changes that might be indicative of emerging problems. I want to talk to you today specifically about a condition called lymphedema. You may have heard the word lymphedema or lymph nodes in talking with one of your oncology physicians. Your surgeon will have to take out some lymph nodes when they take out your tumor. It's a standard part of care. Doing so helps them to determine where the cancer has moved to in your body. It's important for them to understand and to know where the cancer is. Your lymphatic system is like the plumbing system of your body, and lymph nodes are an important part of that system. And as you can imagine, if you would take out some of your plumbing system, there's a risk that you may end up with a backup. And that's exactly what we want to monitor for with lymphedema. Lymphedema is a swelling condition of fluid that congests within the limb due to that backup. Lymphedema is a condition that may result with cancer treatment. Not everyone who has lymph nodes removed will develop lymphedema. There are some things we know about lymphedema. We know that it comes on and progresses rather slowly. We know that we can identify it in an early stage and that when we do, we can potentially prevent it from becoming a larger, more severe condition. This is why prospective management of your condition and monitoring by the therapist is so very important. We also want to talk to you today about signs and symptoms that may be associated with that early onset of lymphedema. You know your body better than anyone else. Sometimes when there are early changes, you may not even see swelling prior to it occurring, but you may feel different sensations in your limb. You may feel achiness, you may feel heaviness, or symptoms of tingling in the limb. Sometimes you may see swelling and then it may go away, or it may seem to go away completely. Don't discount the importance of reporting those symptoms to your therapist. They may in fact be the earliest signs of onset of lymphedema, and they need to be managed so that we can help you to prevent this from becoming a more chronic condition. At your preoperative visit, your therapist will take measurements of your limbs. They'll measure both of your limbs and do a comparison. As you go through treatment, we'll monitor your limbs and watch for changes in the size of your limbs that may be an identifier of early swelling. We always monitor both limbs. If you gain weight or lose weight throughout treatment, you see that reflected symmetrically in your arms or your legs. It's when we start to see one limb, specifically the one where you had lymph nodes taken, do something different than the other that we need to look a little more closely. There are a number of things that you can do to help reduce your risk of developing lymphedema. The National Lymphedema Network has a comprehensive list of risk reduction practices that are accessible to you through www.lymphnet.org. In summary, we want you to take a proactive approach to managing your recovery from cancer treatment. 
one of the most important things you can do is to get those baseline measurements and work with a therapist who's an expert in cancer rehabilitation and or lymphedema and have them work with you over the course of your cancer treatment. Remember, you also have an important role in this. You know your body better than anyone else. When you start to experience changes associated with lymphedema, your body will start to tell you a story. If you experience those symptoms, the heaviness, the aching, the tingling in your limb, or if you see even a small amount of swelling. Remember, there is no such thing as just a little bit of swelling. Any of those symptoms need to be addressed by your therapist. They may, in fact, help to identify lymphedema at its earliest onset and promote early conservative management. Identifying lymphedema early, managing lymphedema conservatively are critical to helping to keep the condition under control and prevent it from becoming a chronic lifelong condition.